Welcome biologists, this session we're going to look at the structure of a synapse and how it works. This is part one of two videos. In the second video we're going to look more of the roles of the synapse. So let's take a look at what a synapse actually is. Um, you can see in this image here that there are several synapses here surrounding the one nerve cell. A synapse is a connection between one neuron and the next. Here it is again but it's slightly enlarged, more enlarged. This is a scale of one micrometer so it's really really tiny. And here we have the synaptic cleft here. This is the synapse, one between the connection between one neuron and the next. Now you do need to be able to label the diagram similar to this in an exam. So here we have the axon, which is what's going to be bringing the action potential to the synaptic membranes. We also have the myelin sheath, which is made of the Schwann cell, wrapping around to create that insulating layer. We have the action potential, which travels down the um, axon. Now, don't forget this will be traveling from node to node on the solitary conduction due to the myelin sheath. We also have um, mitochondria, which generate ATP using aerobic respiration. And this is needed for two things here. We need it to move vesicles to the presynaptic membrane, and that is done using the, the cytoskeleton. Um, it's also needed to create the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. We also have here vesicles of neurotransmitter, and the neurotransmitter we're most familiar with is acetylcholine. Uh, we have the presynaptic membrane, the voltage-gated sodium channels, which are on the postsynaptic membrane. We also have the postsynaptic membrane itself. And in between those two, we have the synaptic cleft. Now, a synapse actually works by the incoming action potential traveling down my presynaptic membrane. As it does this, it will cause calcium channels on the membrane to open. Now, as a result of this, calcium will rush in to that presynaptic knob along its electrochemical gradient. And this calcium will cause, this rush of calcium into this presynaptic knob here will cause the vesicles containing neurotransmitter to fuse with the presynaptic membrane. And the way in which they, those vesicles will actually move is by using the cytoskeleton. And the cytoskeleton will use ATP to contract its contractile filaments to move those vesicles towards the presynaptic membrane. So there's lots of links here into um, synoptic knowledge and AS knowledge that you need to be aware of. Now, once those vesicles have fused with the presynaptic membrane, sorry, they will re release those that neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft and it will therefore diffuse across into the postsynaptic receptors. Now that process of releasing the um, neurotransmitter is actually called exocytosis which is again is another link to AS. So there we have that fusion of the vesicles to the presynaptic membrane and then the acetylcholine will then diffuse across the synaptic cleft. Now, once it's diffused across the synaptic cleft, the acetylcholine will then bind to receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. And these receptors are actually found on the sodium vault gated channels of the postsynaptic membrane. And as the acetylcholine binds to these receptors on my sodium vault gated channels, it will cause the sodium vault gated channels to open. And the rest of this now should be fairly familiar in that because my sodium vault gated channels have now opened, my sodium is going to rush in along its electrochemical gradient, depolarizing the membrane on my postsynaptic mem membrane. And this will trigger an action potential if the change in, change in membrane potential goes above that threshold value. If enough of my sodium vault gate channels are going to open, it will depolarize the postsynaptic membrane. Now, the last thing that's going to happen here is I have an enzyme called acetylcholinesterase, which comes along and breaks up the acetylcholine that neurotransmitter that's bound to those sodium vault gate channels. And that's really important, otherwise those sodium vault gate channels won't close and I won't be able to regain resting potential um, after that induction of my generator potential and action potential in my postsynaptic membrane. So my acetylcholinesterase will break down acetylcholine into acetyl and choline. They'll diffuse back into the presynaptic knob where acetylcholine can then be remade and reused, it's recycled. So that is the structure of a synapse and how it works. Be prepared here for the examiners to throw something at you to do with a poison or a drug that may impact upon any of those parts of how a synapse actually works. So be prepared to think outside the box on this. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.